Hey, what's going on everyone? Jay Maddox here, Jay Maddox Entertainment. And as always, thank you so much for joining me. Hope you're having a great day. What do you say we hop into a brand new book ramble? Let's get to it. This one is coming to us from Brian Bowyer and it's called Perpetual Dread. It's a short story collection of pure dread. I kid you not, these are dark. And I'll tell you up front right away, fair warning, these stories aren't for everyone. Some of them weren't for me, okay? They're not going to be for everyone. A lot of uh, trigger warnings throughout. But what sets this collection apart from other uh, short story collections, other books, novels, stories, novellas with trigger warnings, they're happening in the background for the most part, okay? They're not the main focal point of every story, especially some of the more extreme trigger warnings that involve uh, uh, rape, and things for children, okay? They're, they're happening in the background. Uh, they're referred to every now and then, but they're not the main focal point. A lot of other things are happening in every story that will help you push through to get to the very end because trust me, you'll wanna to get to the very end of each one because each one has that holy shit moment. I kid you not, so fair warning. Yes, these are dark. At the same time though, I don't know if I would exactly put this in the extreme category. I mean, they're extreme for the most part, but I have read more extreme collections and more extreme stories and, and novels. Um, these are the, the, the whole perpetual dread title does these stories justice. Okay. Because these are about life and life events and <laughs> guys, you and I both know life events, just things happening in life can be a whole hell of a lot scarier than any kind of, you know, story for a horror book or a, a, a uh, horror film, right? Life could be freaking scary at times. These stories are short for the most part. There, there's one or two that are uh, a little bit longer. I, I know uh, Black Cat Bones is probably the longest one in there, uh, but these, these are short. They pack a mean punch. And guys, if, if you're reading this, they pack a punch to your groin. I'm not kidding. Maybe go into this wearing a cup. Get ready for a kick, a punch and a kick. <laughs> All right, also up front, just to emphasize the dread, don't get attached to anyone. No, we're not gonna attach to anyone. <laughs> Fair warning. Yeah, so what do I mean by that? Well, just when you're reading it and you think, man, there is a little bit of, uh, of hope. There's just a glimmer of hope, no. Take a break, walk away, because you're not going to like what happens next. <laughs> I, I, so, yeah, so I guess you could say it is extreme, okay? I'll backtrack. It, it is extreme, but, you know, mixed with, you know, life. It's it's not like a, a J.F. Gonzalez uh, a book or anything like that, okay? A different kind of extreme. Ex the extremities of life. We'll, we'll say that, okay? Um, also, don't read all this in one sitting, Take a break. Do a couple stories, take a break. Go do something else. Spend time with the family. Go fishing. I don't know if you're a fisher. Go play basketball. Go outside, go for a run. Watch a comedy on TV. Seriously, okay? Now, overall, I, I know you're thinking, man, this is dark, Jay. Did you like it? I enjoyed it a lot. That's what scares me. <laughs> so, this is good. I enjoyed it overall. Like I said, there are a few stories that just weren't for me. And I was able to kind of, you know, push back past those situations and continue to the end. Um, but guys, life can be horrible, right? It, it's being played out right here in front of us. The words are right there for you to check out. All of these are fair warnings for you guys, okay? And don't go into this with a weak stomach. If you have a weak stomach, you may want to take some medicine, you know, toughen it up, eat some bread ahead of time. <laughs> There's plenty of uh, the dirty, nasty, cringy, crusty, hurtful, what the F moments that happen throughout each of these stories. And trust me when I say, I'll go back to it. No glimmer of hope anywhere. Okay. Uh, let's, let's check out some of my top picks. Terminal. Right off the bat, the first story. Terminal. Here you have a mother who, she's, <laughs> she just gives up. Just three kids. 
And I, I don't want to give away too much, but wow, she just she's just like, okay, I've been screwed over so many times, I, I give up. And then, then you see what happens, okay? Um, Black Cat Bones, like I said, that one is probably the longest one. It's got a little bit more character development throughout. Um, deals with black magic. So it was it was actually pretty cool. Probably my fourth favorite in the collection. Bath Salt Zombie. This one was pretty graphic. Uh, and a lot of a lot of drug use. Yeah. I mean, I, I may have found some some of the bath salt powder on the pages. And I read the sucker in a Kindle. How's that work? <laughs> Scarlet. I enjoyed this one. It's probably my second favorite of, of, of the collection. Art could be everywhere, guys. It could be anywhere and everywhere. By the way, are you using all your blood? Okay. And then Tattoo Magic. There's something about Tattoo Magic. This, this is my favorite one, I think. Just off the wall nuts. I enjoyed this one a lot. It, it's got like a, a nasty, dirty revenge sequence in it that <laughs> made me kind of laugh. I, I kind of saw it coming. And I, and I just wanted to get through to the end of it to make sure I was right. I, I laughed at that again. It kind of scares me that I like this too so much. Yeah. So these are just my top five. But I mean, really, there's not a weak one throughout. They're all pretty freaking fantastic, if you ask me. They all have that harsh, dirty kind of way to them that, you know, the, the, the life could be brutal kind of feel to them. You get that a lot throughout these stories. Overall, we'll give it a nice solid four. Yeah, four out of five. I guess I enjoyed it for the most part, and it scares me a little bit. A little bit of a change of pace from what I've been reading lately. So that, that's usually good. Um, yeah, a four, we can go with a four. Pretty cool. And again, just to let you know, fair warning, be ready for what you're about to read, okay? But I do suggest you pick it up. This is Perpetual Dread from Brian Bowyer. Four out of five. Not too shabby. What a way to end the year, right? All right, guys. I appreciate you joining me. Hope I did this review justice. Hope I did book justice. Check it out for yourself. If you're over the age of 18, nudge, nudge. Don't let your kids get a hold of it. That's going to do it. That's been another book ramble from yours truly, J Maddox for J Maddox Entertainment. Stay safe. Tomorrow is New Year's Eve. If you're going to go out partying, have fun. I don't know who's going to go out partying with COVID 2020, but some of you might. Who knows? Until we meet again, uh, which should be pretty soon, I'll catch you later. See ya.